Hello everyone, my name is Paul and today I would like to present you the new GEVA Digital Piano DP345. Like all GEVA digital pianos, the DP345 is produced at our factory in Ader Vogtland and is therefore a made in Germany product. Also for this instrument we use our high resolution Hamburg Grand Piano sample. This is based on a Steinway D274 concert grand piano and was recorded exclusively by GEVA in the legendary home studios in Hamburg. Compared to our top model, the UP400, we did not compromise any audio quality or sample size in any way. This means that even under headphones you will have exactly the same high resolution sound experience as with all GEVA digital pianos. For our keyboard, we rely on our proven concert pianist keyboard. This is a zone weighted hammered action with ivory touch surface. The DP345 has two high quality full range speakers. To ensure an even better sound, we have constructed an acoustic panel above the keyboard. This not only looks nice, but also provides a full and direct piano sound. Compared to many other digital pianos, the DP345 has a very clean and modern control panel. The new OLED display with its deep black background blends almost seamlessly into the body of the instrument. The new soft touch buttons not only look stylish, but also have a very special feel. But let's take a closer look. Directly below the display, we find four cursor buttons, which with we can scroll through the different sounds and their categories. In the middle of the control unit is the volume control and directly below it, there are four function keys. With the voice button, we get into the sound selection of the instrument. With the metronome icon, we can set the metronome and turn it on or off. In the recorder menu, we can, for example, record right and left hand separately and play them back directly via the player menu. As you can see, we are concentrating here exclusively on a few important functions. All other parameters are available via the new GEVA Piano Remote app. With the GEVA Piano Remote app, we can easily make settings on our instrument. The basic idea here is that of favorite sounds. If we take a look at the start screen of the app, we see six favorite sounds that we can define freely. Let's take the first slot for example. By clicking on the three dots in the upper right corner, we can edit the sound. Let's give it a name, for example, Paul. Via sound, we get to the sound browser. Here we see different sound categories like piano, e-piano, strings and core, organ, others and combinations. Let's select an e-piano sound for example. Using the effect and reverb section, we can now edit the sound even further. For example, with a chorus, phaser, tremolo or the different reverb effects to get a fuller sound. For each favorite sound, we can also set a custom metronome setting. For example, if we want to practice a song with a certain sound, the appropriate metronome setting will then be automatically loaded. If we save the preset now, you can see that the icon on the start screen has also changed to an electric piano with the corresponding name. This favorite sound is now permanently stored on the piano. It can now be accessed directly from the piano at any time, even without an existing app connection. Below the favorite sounds, you will find the menu bar. This allows you to access various functions of the DP345. Clicking on the microphone takes us to the sound selection. We already know this from our favorite sounds on our homepage. At the end of the sound selection, there is a category called combinations. 
Here we can create as many sound combinations as we want with up to three different sounds per combination. These sound combinations can then also be placed on one on the favorite slots. Clicking on the note symbol takes us to the player menu. Here we have access to a library of lessons which will be constantly expanded in the future. We can select single pieces, loop, play loud and quiet or practice left and right hand separately. In the demo player we can play different demo pieces. In the Songs tab, we play audio files from our USB device. Clicking on the microphone opens the recording window. Here we can record our pieces and play them back. The metronome icon in the menu bar opens the metronome settings. We already know these from the Favorites editor. Here we can set the tempo, time signature and metronome volume. The last item on the menu bar leads us to the Virtual Piano Technician. Here we find some general settings of our piano. For example, the user key calibration to make fine adjustments in the keyboard behavior. But also string resonance, tuning, hammer tips or touch curve settings can be found here. For now, this is a general overview of the features and functions of the new GEVA DP345. For more information, ask your GEVA dealer or visit our website at gevakeys.com.